Welcome to Electra Online. In this video, we're going to take a look at the structure of the subframe data. Remember, there's five subframes in one frame, and here we have a physical picture of what that would look like. Notice that each frame contains 1500 bits, which requires 30 seconds for the satellite to transmit. 25 frames make up the entire navigation message, which takes 12 and a half minutes total to transmit. In each frame, there are five subframes, one through five here. Notice that each subframe contains a TLM word and an HOW word. TLM stands for telemetry and HOW stands for handover. Notice that the first three subframes contain data that needs to be updated every 30 seconds. The first one contains the SV, the space vehicle clock correction terms, very important, plus the GPS clock number. The second contains the precise and ephemeris data of the space vehicle that we're in communication with, and so does the third subframe because it doesn't all fit into a single subframe. Notice that the first three subframes are repeated every 30 seconds with updated data. The last two only need to be updated every 12.5 minutes, and notice that from subframe to subframe, they do not contain the same data. In totality, the two subframes of each frame for all 25 frames contain all of the data for all the Almanac data of all the space vehicles, 1 through 24 in subframe 5 and 25 through 32 in subframe 4. They also contain IONO information. We say IONO for the ionospheric conditions because we need to adjust for those to be able to exclude some of the errors that the refracting uh, properties of the ionosphere in affect the data width, so we need to have correction terms that come out of this information, the clock information, and then the rest is just the almanac data. We also include an almanac, almanac reference time. A little bit more information about the telemetry word and the handover word. Notice that in the telemetry word we have an 8-bit preamble which either has the 8 bits set to 1000 1001, oh, take that again, 1011, or in reverse, if the data has been shifted, if the carrier wave has been shifted, then the preamble data will be opposite. We have 16 bits ready for the data here, and at the end of each word, we have a 6-bit parity region that contains the Hamming code, and we'll give you more information about the specifics, what's in the data here, and what's in the parity code. On the second word, the handover word, it contains 17 bits that will then express the time of the week. Notice in a single week, there are 604,800 seconds. However, the 17 bits only leave room for 131,072 entries. So how do you fit 604,800 seconds into a 17-bit structure? Well, first what they do is they divide things up in one and a half second segments, and then they take four segments at a time, which is for a total of six seconds. And if you divide this number by six, it does fit into the 17-bit structure. We'll give you some more information about that later as well. This is what we call the subframe data structure. And then in videos to come, we'll give you more information about specifically what that data is and what that data looks like. So stay tuned, and we'll get much more into details of what's contained within that navigation message that gets transmitted in totality every 12 and a half minutes.